I'm Tom Fresler, Director of Education from the National Museum of the U.S. Navy, and we're here today in the Underwater Archaeology Lab with... Shauna Daniel. I'm the Archaeological Conservator here at the Underwater Archaeology Branch. So we have this really interesting artifact in front of us today. What, what can you tell us about this? This is actually a very unique artifact. It is actually a structural piece from the USS Macon, which was a rigid airship um, that was a program during the 1930s. So what exactly is this rigid airship program? I've heard a little bit about it, but could you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, it was a program started in the 1930s. The Navy was looking for new technologies and new ways to have aircraft carriers, and this is one way they thought would be feasible. So this was mostly just a large airship that you know floated around and had aircraft in it. Yes, that's correct, yeah. So this would be a small section of that big frame from that rigid airship. They would use these airships as scouting vessels that would go out and then they would send out their, their little aircraft around the area to go out, look for things, and then come back and then hook back up and go inside. Yeah. yeah. It's a definitely a scary time, but uh, interesting time. Too. It was. It was quite remarkable. They would extend a hook down and then they would be pulled back up into their airship. So wow. yeah, it was, it was definitely an interesting time to be a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> So you said this is an airship, so how exactly did the Underwater Archaeology Branch end up with this piece? That's a good question. So the USS Macon uh, got caught in a storm in 1935 and unfortunately uh, sank. It, uh, and two women lost their lives during that time. But how we were able to get a hold of it is we were working with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric administration and we got a remote operating vehicle to bring this particular piece up. So with an artifact like this, how do you conserve and preserve it here in the lab? The first thing that we do is we actually, anything that comes from a wet environment, we keep it wet. The second thing is we go and take it through a bath trying to remove the salts because it can be corrosive to the artifact. Mm -hmm. After that, what we do is we clean it then we will actually, we apply protective coatings on it so it can be stable and um, be in the condition that you see. Fantastic. How should this inspire sailors today? Why, why should an artifact like this still matter to sailors today? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, this particular artifact is quite interesting because it shows the technology and science the Navy was doing back in the 1930s. And it's showing that technology is still happening today. The Navy is just not a war fighting department. It's science, technology. And this just gives you a, just a little glimpse of what the Navy was doing in the 1930s.